Hi, welcome to Celsius Through the Eyes of the Horse. And this is part C, with Lincoln and I finishing up our ride around the ranch and test driving his new shoes behind. Marie asked me a great question, because I'm kind of so enamored with this having four shoes, is do I wish that I had put the shoes on earlier? And that's a great, great question. I don't know if I would have appreciated completely how transforming they are for this horse, but it definitely gives me pause. I mean, I like if a horse can be barefoot, and he has had exceptionally good feet. But what finally motivated me in a big way is that the rocky roads here and that he definitely was showing that he was troubled landing on rocks and not just every now and then but noticeably because the minute i'd shift over to the grass it, it completely changed so when i'm riding him in the desert and i was riding him in palma valley it never was as rocky there so i could keep looking at not going down that path. Now one thing that's interesting though with the shoes, he has such steep feet that he's had a history of thrush. And having the shoes, the clearance, and the way the stability of the shoe is, his the bottom of his feet have never been healthier in terms of the shape of the frog and the space. All the thrush is gone now. And part of it's because he doesn't have as boxy square feet with the deep clefts. So it's interesting for me if I had a horse like this again, I would really think hard about the shoes just in again a therapeutic way to help that is the thrush, the deep, deep thrush could stabilize. So as we know, every single horse is such an opportunity for learning. They are amazing teachers. And here we are, finding our way back through the thick grass. And again, I just marvel at the ease that he just trotted around the ranch on really different kinds of footing, no trails, rocks, up and down. My next test is to take him out and have him in a more mountainous way. But I also wanted to be fair to him adjusting to, to the shoes since that's a new experience for him. So I'm absolutely thrilled. And I tell you, if I end up living somewhere where there's serious trails, I may have to keep this horse for a while. He is such a pleasure to ride and to have on the ground and in riding. So thank you. Lincoln, you're a really, really cool horse to share a horse experience with.